Okay, my son Troy and I are here to explain all the differences of why a flat top is the only paramotor you should be getting right now or flying right now. There are literally 304 reasons uh, that I just came up with off the top of my head. 304. People usually hear the normal standard ones, uh, but this time we're going to go into a lot more depth of the specifics of exactly why the flat top is the only unit to buy or fly. Okay, to start off, stainless steel nylock nuts and bolts for strength, aesthetics, and rust resistant, and they don't vibrate loose. Pretty much most of the other units are using just simple cheap nuts, and people have uh, them vibrate off, go through the prop, causes all kinds of issues. So that's one big cool thing about flat top. Kevlar netting for strength and for light weight. The Kevlar netting weighs almost nothing on the flat top, and it's 400 pounds strength. So each line is 400 pound strength Kevlar, where other units like Fresh Breeze are just using cheap string, and you can go through that netting very, very easily. Uh, riveted onto cage pieces for maximum strength, allowing the Kevlar line to act like spokes on a bicycle wheel, dramatically shortening, uh, strengthening the cage. So if you think of a bicycle rim, you can literally crush a bike rim with one hand. But if you put spokes in that bicycle rim, then you could take it over 10 foot jumps. Same thing the Kevlar netting does in the flat top, since it's riveted onto the cage, it's actually becoming an integral part of the strength of that cage. So the flat top cage is literally about 100 times stronger than most of the other units. Uh, with units like Fresh Breeze, it takes you know, only a nothing, few pounds of pressure to flex the prop into the netting. Uh, with a flat top, it takes hundreds of pounds. Uh, in other videos, you've seen me stand on the netting and stand in the engine, stuff like that. So we won't be doing that in this video because we've already done that. Uh, let's see, riveted onto the cage piece for maximum strength along the Kevlar Act. Okay, uh, Delrin cage lugs don't snap off, keeping roll cage with pilot during a crash. So the cage lugs on the flat top are Delrin, and the, uh, the main big ones are even uh, have an aluminum insert that we machine and drill in there. You do not want your cage lugs breaking off because that's your roll cage, where a lot of the other units are just using plastic uh, for the cage lugs. So if you smack in, it just breaks the cage and your cage falls off, so it can't offer you any protection. Not that it does anyway because of the other reasons, but with a flat top, that cage is designed to really take a beating, but that's your roll cage, so it stays with you to protect you. They're Delrin. Delrin lugs, Del. yes. There you go. Delrin cage lugs are self-lubricating for a smooth fit every time. So they go on really nice, come off year after year. Uh, where some of them that use like aluminum, they'll actually gall and they can be a real pain in the butt to put in. A dual hoop for maximum strength and stiffness. Of course, flat top has a dual hoop cage, which adds only 1.2 pounds to the overall weight, but it drastically improves the strength over just a, a single hoop design. So units like the uh, Air Conception or Scout or Fresh Breeze, they are a lot weaker. It's literally the flat top's about 100 times stronger. But because of all the lightweight features on the flat top, it's actually dramatically lighter you know, just the Spectra cloth harness alone. The harness weighs two pounds, where the harness on a Fresh Breeze is more like eight or nine pounds. So there's a huge weight advantage to the flat top. It's, uh, you know, 10, 17 pounds lighter than a Fresh Breeze, depending on the model, and upwards of 50 pounds lighter than other units. The dual hoop flat top allows extra clearance for safety in danger zones. People ask, why is the top flat. Well, having a flat top instead of just a circle, it allows you to have the smallest overall cage design turning the biggest prop, uh, but while also offering the most clearance in the safety zones where you need it the most. So if you let go of your brake toggles in flight, they go top right and top left, so they don't go straight down the middle. So on units like the, you know, these, this type of unit, where the prop is so close to the netting and you only have a single hoop, people have literally had their brake toggles go in the prop, it wraps up, locks them into a spiral straight at the ground. 
Uh, it's actually happened to me twice on non-flat tops. Twice, not once, but twice I had brake toggles go into the prop on other units. So that was a huge thing in the flat top. We wanted to make sure it never happens. The other thing is if you're holding the unit when you're warming it up, the torque of the unit, if you lose control, will actually come sideways. So having watched people put their hand in the prop, it's not a pretty sight. But on other units, they usually put their hand up to the top left or the top right to, to support the unit and try and catch the unit. Well, with the flat top, you've got the two upright tubes right in that area, so you have the full strength and stiffness uh, to be able to support that load. On other units, if you notice, there is a huge gigantic gaping hole. There is no tube top left or top right. So right in the most critical danger areas, they literally have no protection whatsoever. Uh, plus by having the bars go to the center in the middle, like this one has a huge gaping hole right behind your head. The flat top, much, much better. Uh, let's see, flat bottom, same thing, allows extra clearance to prevent cage strikes in most common areas. When you trip and fall down, generally you would fall either left or right, the direction of torque. So if you're running real fast and your unit torques a little to the right, it's typical people will fall slightly to the right. Well, that gives the flat top, again, the smallest overall cage design, but it gives the most possible clearance right in those areas on the bottom right or bottom left. So as I went through a whole pile of trashed paramotors, uh, looking at how things were broken and what happened when I designed the flat top, I noticed that people were crushing and always getting prop strikes on the sides. So that's where they were getting the cage strikes. So by making the bottom flat, I added an extra three inches of clearance where you need it, but while also keeping the smallest overall cage design. Uh, very, very nice. Plus, of course, on the flat top, the prop is over six inches away from the netting at the clearest, at, at the closest. Uh, Kung Fu grip in case the motor goes full throttle. Uh, having taught karate for years and years and years, <laughs> the flat top has a Kung Fu grip. Notice your hand just fits in here. But if that unit leans forward, it instantly puts you into a jujitsu wrist lock and it will push you to the ground in front of the unit, keeping you out of the prop. Having watched people put their hand in the prop, a lot of times when that unit starts leaning forwards, they will let go and try and brace themselves grabbing up above to a, a different handhold. So I wanted to make sure that you don't let go, you just hang on to it and lean under it because the, the flat top has its safe space there when it leans forward. Uh, uh, no other unit has that, and that's the issue. If this unit rocks forward and you put your hand up to steady it, you go right through the netting right into the prop. Over a hundred people have been shredded in props, and uh, like on air conception, somebody told me three more people have been shredded in props in just the last couple of months. I mean, so many people get injured on units like this. It's a serious, serious issue, so it's not just that the flat top's a unit to buy, it's because it's the only unit that is designed to address all the eight major safety issues in the sport. Uh, five piece cage breaks down very small for shipping and transport. So five cage pieces obviously are smaller than the cage pieces if you only had three. And smaller cage pieces are stronger cage pieces. Uh, so the flat top having five cage pieces, it breaks down much smaller, but you also have a much stronger, more durable cage once it's put together. Where units that have like four or three cage pieces with a big hoop, those pieces are much, much longer. And you know, when you go to ship it, you'll see what I'm talking about. You end up paying a fortune or having to have two boxes because the pieces are so big. Where the flat top, the whole thing fits in one nice box for shipping. Also, smaller is stronger. Smaller is stronger. You got it. That is correct. Uh, aluminum T6-6061. Uh, very, very important on uh, your paramotor safety that you have aluminum that will crush and absorb impact in a crash. 60-61 T6. Now, what most people don't know is a lot of the Euro paramotors, which the flat top's really the only made in the USA unit, um, a lot of these European paramotors, they simply do not have access to all of the nice materials and different sizes and thicknesses that we have in the US. So you'll find a lot of the cheaper, cheesy units are not even made with tubing. 
They're made with pipe. So it's like cheap lawn chair pipe. And since they can't get the different thicknesses of material, because they're a lot more limited in the Czech Republic, you end up with a paramotor that's made of all the same size aluminum. Uh, so you, you don't have the strength where you need it, uh, but light where, weight where you need it. They're just using the same sort of pipe, not even tubing. So it is important that your, your paramotor is made with materials that are gonna hold up and give you the very best strength and safety. Then of course the flat top is heat treated after welding. So it's upwards of a thousand percent stronger than units that are not heat treated. Uh, also because of units using pipe, just cheap lawn chair pipe instead of actual, you know, 6061 T6 tubing, you'll see them uh, crack over time. The vibration of a two stroke will just tear the units apart and you see older units like that and you'll see welds all over the place. Where the flat top is heat treated after welding, making it incredibly strong and that aluminum is designed to be able to take abuse like that. So there's the first 12 of 304 reasons that the flat top is the only unit competent people buy and fly. Let's go flying.